so first of all, thank you all for coming. We're so proud of this property that we're um, always happy to show it off. I told somebody it's like your kid being the star in the high school play. It's Absolutely. the same kind of thing. Uh, we worked on this project, I think it's kind of like the little project that could, the little engine that could. Um, it took us eight or nine years of pulling it together. We had financing set up for it at one point, and the state, when they started running into financial problems, took closed down that financing source, so we had to go back and restructure the entire financing program. Um, we purchased the property with the expectation that we'd be serving adult developmentally disabled, um, realizing there was a need for that population, that it was not being served, and to the extent that almost all developmentally disabled folks were uh, living in Essentially, segregated communities. Yeah, well, that's right. They're either they're, if they're living out in the community, they're living substandard, absolutely. And if they're not, they're living in some kind of a group home where they're with other developmentally disabled folks, and they don't really get the understanding of what the rest Kids of the world. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's right. So this was an effort to blend the populations with folks who don't suffer from that kind of disability um, and regular seniors. So we have uh, two populations, one that's 55 and older for part of the project, and uh, another part of it is 62 and older, and um, roughly 40% of the property is set aside for either senior development and disabled or senior formerly homeless okay. folks. And so we partnered uh, initially with a group called the uh, South Central Regional Center, uh, which is part of the regional center system set up by the state to address the needs of developing disabled. So that while Link has a very active resident services program, mm -hmm. we don't provide the in-depth kinds of specialized services that some of these populations... The special needs. Right, right. Special right. So we look for a partner uh, who does only that kind of population, okay. and then we provide the housing and kind of the basic services and then they provide the rest of it. So Great. we're, um, it's been open about nine months, we're 100% occupied. Uh, every time I come, I see a resident and they come up and say how happy they are to be living here. I understand it. I'd like to live here too. Right. <laughs> it's Great a lot. Yeah. I walked around, we have a, a, a life trail uh, where people can go and walk around in a safe environment and with some exercises, and I said, gee, this is just like being at the gym. I could right. go out there and, you know, do a little bench pressing and other right. things. So right. I you had a chance to see that. I did. We walked it, and I think um, one uh, walked some of the units, met some of the residents here, uh -huh. and saw how happy they were, excited to be in their apartments. They're thrilled to show their homes, which I think mm -hmm. is great. Um, you know, lovely balconies, you know, nice, nice amount of units. So I'm sure that, um, you know, many of these people have not been used to this before. So they right. get something that's above and beyond, and it's still affordable for them. Mm -hmm. So um, I know all the different sorts of financing. So one, want to thank you. We're so proud that um, you guys were our Sage Award winner. Right. Uh, and happy to be able to share it today. So thank you. Thank you.